start off by breaking each of these components into their simplest forms. Sine of u times cosecant, which is 1 sine of u, 1 over sine of u, minus cosecant, or excuse me, cosine squared u. And what we're going to do here is these cancel each other out, so you end up with 1 minus cosine squared u equals sine squared u. We're going to use a trig identity here on the cosine squared. You get 1 minus quantity 1 minus sine squared u. Distribute the minus sign, we get 1 minus 1 plus sine squared u. These cancel each other out, sine squared u. So you end up with sine squared u is equal to sine squared u, which is what we need in the first place. And this right here proves your identity.